Hi friends! Today I'm going to be reading a book to you guys in Espanol. How about we say good morning just like we did in the classroom? So, when Ms. Batseva would say, Buenos dias amigos, my friends would say, You're right. Buenos dias, señorita Batseva. Are you ready? Let's practice that together, okay? One, two, three. Buenos dias, amigos. Good job. All right, now that we have our Spanish on, let's see what book we're going to read today, okay? The book we're going to read today is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. But we're going to actually read this book in Espanol, right? So, are you ready to hear what it's called in Espanol? Listen closely, okay? La oruga muy hambrienta. Caterpillar in Espanol is oruga. Can you practice that with me? Oruga. One more time. Oruga. La oruga muy hambrienta by Eric Carle. Al claro de la luna reposa un huevecillo sobre una hoja. Can you guys find the egg? You're right, it's right on the leaf. Egg in Spanish is huevecillo. Let's try it together. Huevecillo. Good job. Un domingo de mañana, apenas salió el tibio sol, del huevecillo salió una oruga diminuta y muy hambrienta. How do you say caterpillar in Espanol again? You're right, oruga. Does anybody remember how to say sun in Spanish? Yes, sol. Good job. Enseguida empezó a buscar comida. Oh my goodness, that little caterpillar is so hungry. He needed to look for food right away. Are you ready to find out what he eats? Well, let's see. El lunes comió, comió y atravesó una manzana, pero aún seguía hambrienta. Can you guys use your binoculars, turn them on, and guess what he ate on the very first day? You're right, he ate an apple. Apple in Spanish is manzana. Can you guys try it with me? Manzana. One more time. Manzana. Good job. El martes comió, comió y atravesó dos peras. Pero aún seguía muy hambrienta. Oh my goodness, he's still hungry. What did he eat this time? He ate two pears, right? Pear in Spanish is pera. Can you guys try with me? Pera. Good job. Let's practice it one more time. Pera. You guys are so good at this. El miércoles comió, comió y atravesó tres ciruelas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. Oh my goodness, what did he eat now? One, two, three plums, right? Plums in Espanol es ciruela. Now we're going to practice that slowly because it's a very hard word. Are you ready? Ciruela. Good job. Let's practice that all together now. Ciruela. One more time. Ciruela. Good job. El jueves comió, comió. Y atravesó cuatro fresas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. Oh my goodness, let's see what he ate this time. One, two, three, four strawberries. But he's still hungry. Fresa is how we say strawberry in Espanol. Are you ready to try it? 
Fresa. That's an easy one, huh? Let's try it one more time. Fresa. Good job, guys. El viernes comió, comió y atravesó cinco naranjas, pero aún seguía hambrienta. Let's see what he ate now. One, two, three, four, five oranges, but he's still hungry. Oranges in español is naranjas. Are you ready to practice with me? Naranjas. One more time. Naranjas. I really can't hear you this time. Speak up, friends. Naranjas. Good job. <gasps> oh my goodness, I have a feeling he's going to eat all these yummy things. Let's find out. El sábado comió y comió y atravesó un bizcocho de chocolate, un helado, un pepinillo, un trozo de queso suiza, una rondanja de salami, una paleta, un pastel de cerezas, un, una salchicha, un pastelillo y una tajada de sandía. Esa noche tuvo un tremendo dolor de estómago. Oh my goodness. He ate a piece of chocolate cake, an ice cream cone, a pickle, a piece, a slice of Swiss cheese, a slice of salami, a lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, a sausage, one cupcake, and even a slice of watermelon. That night, his tummy hurt so much. I think he ate too much, right? Al día siguiente, era domingo otra vez. La oruga comió una hermosa hoja bien verde y se sintió mucho mejor. The next day, the caterpillar decided to eat a green leaf. And now he feels much better. Leaf in español es hoja. Let's all practice it together. Ready? This is a super, super simple one. Hoja. Good job. Ya no tiene hambre. Ni era pequeña. Ahora era una oruga muy grande. The caterpillar family is not hungry anymore. But is she a tiny, tiny caterpillar anymore? No, right? He's a very, very big caterpillar now. Construyó una casita a su alrededor. Un capullo. Cocoon. It's called a cocoon. And in español, cocoon is capullo. Let's practice that. Capullo. That is how you say cocoon in español. Y se encerró en ella por más de dos semanas. He stayed in there. Two whole weeks. That is a long time. Un día hizo un agujero en el capullo, empujó un poco para salir y... But when he was ready to come out, he pushed a little bit. And... Se encontró convertida en una bellísima mariposa. <gasps> now he was a very beautiful butterfly. Butterfly in Espanol is ma ri po sa. Let's try it again. First me, then you, okay? Ma ri po sa. Hmm. Now let's put all of that together. Ready? Mariposa. Look at that. What a beautiful butterfly. I love butterflies. I think very soon with the warm weather, we will start to see some butterflies out there. Maybe some of my friends have even already seen some butterflies outside. All right, friends, it's time for me to go now. So I'll see you next time, okay? There's a caterpillar behind you. What? The caterpillar behind you. <laughs> oh, you're right. What is that little caterpillar doing there? Let's see. Guess what? I didn't even know he was there. The caterpillar would like us to help we tell the story. All right, friends, let's check out what we have here. A caterpillar. Does anybody remember how to say caterpillar in Espanol? Yes, oruga. What is this? Let me see. Oh, yes, this is a mariposa. 
butterfly es mariposa. Un huevecillo en una hoja verde. An egg on a green leaf. A cocoon, yes. A cocoon es capullo. Una oruga muy grande. A very big caterpillar. Mr. Caterpillar here, Señor Oruga, would like us to help retell the story. So we have to think really hard all the way to the beginning of the book and think about what happened first. Was it el capullo or un huevecillo en una hoja verde? Hmm. Let's think really hard. Oh, what did you say? Yes, un huevecillo en una hoja muy verde. So let's put that right here so we know that happened first. What happened next? Was it una oruga muy grande, una mariposa, o una oruga? Yes, una oruga. Let's put that over here. Good job, guys. First, un huevecillo en una hoja, then una oruga. What is next? Una mariposa o una oruga muy grande. Yes, una oruga muy grande, right? And do you remember how he got so big? Yes, he ate and he ate and he ate. So what happens next? A cocoon or a butterfly? Yes, a cocoon. Because he makes a home so that he can change from a caterpillar all the way to a butterfly, right? After a capullo, then he turns into a mariposa. So, let's tell the story one more time. Are you ready? First, the caterpillar was just a tiny egg on a leaf. Un huevecillo en una hoja. Then he turned into a caterpillar. Después se convirtió en una oruga. After eating so much, he turned into a very, very big caterpillar. Después de comer tanto, 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 se convirtió en una oruga muy, muy grande. Then he made a very, very special house called a cocoon. Después hizo una casa muy especial que se llama Capullo. And after two whole weeks, the caterpillar started to come out of the cocoon and turned into a very beautiful butterfly. Después de dos semanas en el capullo, la oruga empezó a empujar y se convirtió en una mariposa muy hermosa. Thank you for helping Mr. Caterpillar retell the story. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.